We all know that advertising on YouTube, that means paid promotions, where someone comes up to a YouTuber such as, say, us, we haven't been offered any such deal, but just for example, say, hey, we want you to talk about X, and we'll pay you X amount to talk about it, and there's been, of course, a lot of kerfuffle about people not actually fully stating that it is a paid promotion. But now we have an official guidance for vloggers and other YouTubers from the UK Committee of Advertising Practice for anyone who takes payments to promote products in videos or on social media. Now this actually follows closely from an investigation last year that found that several vloggers actually misled people by failing to properly flag content that was a paid promotion. The guidance is rather straightforward as you would imagine. If you are paid to promote something and the advertiser controls the message then of course the content is an ad and must be obviously identifiable as such. So basically if you've been paid to do an ad and they've been allowed to control the content of that ad, then you have to say something. But to be honest, you should say something even if they just kind of say, hey look, can you talk about our game? You should still say something because at the end of the day, money has changed hands and of course, full disclosure is best for everybody, but these guidelines are a good enough place to start. Now this does apply to any videos on YouTube and Twitch and of course any accompanying social media channel and does cover commercial breaks and product placements and sponsorship without control of content. So what started this whole thing I hear some of you wondering? Well, they were finally prompted to act because of a series of videos that promoted the popular brand Oreo. And there was a complaint filed by a BBC journalist, journalist sorry, that found that the video creators had not made content obviously identifiable as part of a paid promotion. I won't mention the high profile YouTubers in this video, but I will link the source in the description below this video. And they went on to say, quote, We noticed that the presentation of each ad was very much in keeping with the editorial content of the respective channels, and the fact that the videos were marketing communications would therefore not be immediately clear from the style alone. We considered that the disclosure statements, such as thanks Aurea for making this video possible, either in the video or in the text descriptions, were insufficient to make clear the marketing nature of the videos. Although they might indicate to some viewers that Aurea had been involved in the process, they did not clearly indicate that there was a commercial relationship between the advertiser and the vloggers, i.e. that the advertiser had paid for and had editorial control over the videos. Now. This new guidance does come into force immediately, so anyone who's not fully disclosing had better get on it sharpish. But to be honest, I think most people are now fully aware that if you're being paid to talk about something, whether it be a game or a product or whatever, it's best for your viewers, for yourself and for your brand that of course you just fully disclose and say, hey look, so and so has paid me to do this. So it's just easier, simple, no confusion, and everyone is aware that of course money has changed hands. So there you have it, the latest in a rather long saga, but at least the UK Committee of Advertising Practice has drawn their particular investigation to a close, and it definitely helps with the clarification of things, but I think, as I said, most people have already kind of caught up to this idea by now, to be honest. Anyway, that's me done for this video, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.